Indonesia's color waves measure over 50,000 square kilometers. That is about the size of the country of Costa Rica. They are home to an amazing variety of biodiversity and are therefore not only breathtakingly beautiful to look at, but essential for the Indonesian population. 70% of the people living in the tropics depend on their coral reefs and the associated fish populations. Consequently, fishing, alongside rice cultivation, is of enormous importance for the food security of the Indonesian population in the coastal regions. Unfortunately, the reefs are highly endangered by climate change and rising sea surface temperatures. Corals are very sensitive organisms that can already die at the temperature difference of 1.5 degrees Celsius. When this happens, the once colorful and lively coral reefs look like this. This phenomenon is called coral bleaching. As the corals die, marine life also leaves its former home and biodiversity decreases drastically. As a result, fishing no longer yields a return. People in local fishing villages in tropical and subtropical countries like Indonesia are among the first to suffer greatly from the consequences of climate change. However, when it comes to considering what can best be done about it, not all residents are allowed to have a say. The sea and all aspects of it have always been the preserve of man in Indonesia. It does not fit in the image of a good Indonesian woman to do with such issues. However, climate change is a concern for all of us and it's time for women in Indonesia to be able to influence decision-making processes that affect the sea and thus the preservation of their own livelihoods. That's why we created Project Ali, which aims to encourage girls and women to be able to speak their minds and ideas and not be afraid of the sea or being stigmatized by society. Because in the fight against climate change, we need everyone on board. It's not the time to hang on outdated role models, but to look for solutions collectively. Let's find ways together to save Indonesia's coral reefs and work for a fair world. <laughs>